oh man, is this it? Is this the groundbreaking for the Model 2 factory? All Gigafactory construction progress side by side for the final week of March. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Giga Shanghai. In the southwest corner sliver wedge, we see a lot more progress. Vastly more steel, rafters, beams, etc. have been put up. Many of them have already been painted to ensure weatherproofing or, you know, rust prevention. Moving to the area between the two buildings there, again, vastly more steel work is done. Uh, more steel is on the ground, ready to be put in place. It is moving along a super nice. I'm very curious to know what this new section is going to be, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. What on earth are they putting here? Moving up to the northeast corner, where the new uh, steel building is being erected, we can see there's a lot more roofing material that's been put in place, and uh, some more concrete has been placed inside, though it's a little bit harder to see. And we also don't know what this building is for, but if I had to guess, my personal guess would be this is where the 4680s will be built, because this building seems roughly the same size as the pilot plant on Cato Road in Fremont. So maybe there will be cell production in this building. This building also has more walls, more roofs, more floors, more concrete. It just has more, more of everything. And more foundation work completed on the interior. Quick note, if you want to see this week's bonus news segment, it's up for free on Patreon, and you don't even have to be a supporter to watch it. For free, ad-free, all that good stuff. So consider checking that out. The steel building to the north of Phase 2, where the Model Y is being built, uh, has seen quite a bit of progress as well. More roof panels are put in, uh, more finished roofing on the taller part of the building, more walls, kind of more everything. The gap between the buildings is closing in nicely with roofing material, and a lot more finished roof is done. I've had some comments asking me to do a better job of lining up the two clips in terms of appearance and placement, so I've been working on that. But this is very time-consuming, so please bear with me. The foundation to the south of the initial Phase 1 building, where the stamping area is being expanded, has had a lot more steel reinforcement, rebar work done in the past week. Uh, it may not look like it, but it's there's a lot done. There's just a lot to do. Whatever sort of stamping machine they're putting here is going to be genuinely heavy. They've also completed more of the steel work for the structures on either side of it, to the east and west, and even started painting it. And from this angle, you can see pretty well how it's expanding. And I would guess about one more month for this part of the stamping building extension to be completed. The bridge extension to the eastern side, providing new access there, has had some new work done. Um, they're bringing in trucks uh, full of cement to begin paving. And uh, I don't know, this should be open in, I'd already said, uh, about a week from now, but that was three weeks ago, and it's moving pretty slow. So I would say another two or three weeks until this entrance is finished. Oh man, is this it? Is this the groundbreaking for the Model 2 factory? <laughs> if you follow my weekly Texas math tracker, uh, I'm going to start one of these for this area, maybe even this week. Although, clearly, it's approximately 0% done. Giga Berlin. In the northern end, you can see a lot more wall panels have been put up. And even though the building doesn't appear a whole lot different from the outside, uh, more work is continuing inside at what I can only describe as kind of a breakneck pace. Uh, this video was shot last Thursday, and I used the Thursday footage from the amazing Tobias Lind because it shows better how much activity there is on site, how many cars, how many workers, all that. The weekend footage is more detailed and goes area by area 
when it's quieter. So you should check out Tobias's channel to get more information than I could possibly provide you here. He does a great work. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing that if you enjoy videos like this, since it's the only way YouTube knows to show videos like these to people like you who like them. And I apologize for begging about that, but YouTube really makes it difficult to grow your channel any other way. Along the front of the building, there's not a whole lot really to see. It's closed off, mostly, at this point. More windows have been put in, the loading docks are being finished, the roofing material is being finished, the skylights appear essentially all in. We're not going to see much progress from this angle unless you got an X-ray camera. Uh, it's just going so quickly, and this shows you how much activity there is, how many vehicles are on site. It's busy. And I think once the power is connected with the switch yard, essentially finished at this point, we're going to see some trial production finally getting underway. The casting area only has one gigapress in there, and it's not completed and configured just yet, nor is that area closed off to the weather, uh, but that can happen very quickly, and trial production only requires one gigapress. They do have space to hold eight of them, which they may eventually get to, but for now, that's enough to get started. From the east side, you can see some work has been done on the casting area, though it's not super visible from this angle. There is roofing material up there, which will be attached. Some of it already has been. What you can really see here, though, is pavement being put in next to the battery works, uh, motor works building, which tells me they're getting ready to have parking there, which would be, you know, great. They're also moving around this huge pile of sand, which suggests to me they may be looking to break ground on phase two sooner than later. Giga Texas. More roof trusses have been put up between the casting area and the main structure. You can see more concrete has been poured inside this structure. An absolute ton more material has been moved inside the building. The robots are now in place. Along this side, you can't quite see it, but a substantial number of irrigation pipes have been placed in trenches and covered. Quite a bit more roof panels have been put on the building. And if you're wondering how many cars there are at Giga Texas, how many workers are employed, I just so happened to make a very painful video covering that exact topic. I'll put the link in the description and in the corner, whatever, it's, it's pretty wild. At the south end, in the concrete stamping cathedral, we can see a lot more wall panels have been put up because they've attached the roof cement segments to which to attach them. Inside this building is the stamping equipment, and that's where the initial panels are formed to create your new car. On the roof, there's quite a bit of work being done. They put down a first layer of plastic, two layers of insulation, and then a finished layer on top of that. If you're following the Giga Texas progress tracker updates, I should have the new one of those out later tonight or tomorrow, but it's pretty interesting. In the Southwest Prairie, we've got new uh, footing work going in, extending the main area further south. There's only six new ones of these, but they have just gotten started in the last couple days. Steel deliveries have been made in this area, indicating the intention to continue erecting steel structures moving further south from the main building. Here you get a better shot of the additional roof material. And a lot more concrete has been poured 
not just in this part of the building, but in kind of all parts of kind of all buildings. The amount of concrete they're able to put out on this site on any given day is a little bit mind-boggling. On the west side, there's a new temporary road that's been put in with what appears to be some sort of uh, low-grade pavement. And at the northern edge of this building, they have started work on a concrete loading ramp. The battery cell production area at the northwest corner is looking pretty cleared out as if they are about to start work on it very soon. There's not much here apart from the waiting cranes and uh, some final prep on the two large pits. From this angle, you can see just how much stuff has been installed in what will be the paint shop straight ahead. And if you want to learn more about that, Joe Tetmeyer puts out very informative videos, kind of like mine, except deeper dives, and he does them three to four times a week, pretty consistently. So that channel is definitely worth a check out if you haven't already. And even if you have, I mean, check it out again, I guess. Moving over to the east side of the power lines, we see uh, some work has been going on over here. They're in the process of moving the offices a bit further south. It looks like they're putting up a fence to start doing something in this area, other than just parking employee cars. There's also been a lot of grading work around the site, which will be covered more completely next week, but also you can check out Jeff's videos or Joe Tetmeyer's videos to see the latest on those any time of the week. The switchyard is moving along at a pace that indicates it may be ready to connect to the building in the next two to three weeks. Uh, though I have a question for those who know, is this a switchyard or a substation? Let me know in the comments. And on the west side of the highway, site grading continues, though at a slow pace with only a handful of vehicles. It looks like they're working on it, but there's no particular rush, I assume because the same crew that works on the main structure will not be available until they get to this side. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Run me an ear train below and stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots from your self-driving, made-in-China, a compact Model 2.